eligible to receive a payroll tax rebate of $26,000. In coronavirus, our guys will appreciate it here for our state. There's a car that throws itself to keep on our train. That's the same car. Get the money. Go to GetRefunds.com. They're specialists in this little known yeah, payroll tax refund program, and they do all the work. Cars, our friends are appreciating the heat. They share a percentage of the cash they, they, they get for you. Businesses of all types can qualify, yeah, including those who for PPP money, nonprofits, even those that have some increases in sales. They got my business a six-figure refund, and their average quantity is a quarter of a million dollars back. Yeah, so yeah, go yeah, to Facebook.com, click on the Qualify Me button, answer a few questions, then go to GetRefunds.com, GetRefunds.com. For keeping your windows and doors can be life changing. Inspire you to live a healthy, happy life. And it's never been easier. Market windows and doors bring it in and fresh air. Anything the indoors with the outdoors, so you're always connected to nature. They're designed for life, with an inspiring range of options to create the look you want and the lasting quality you need. Your local independent market member will give you straight answers and more advice on the Our market specialists help you plan your project and select the right products for your needs. You'll always know what you're getting with a detailed proposal to make the whole process easier. If you're ready to your team, with windows and doors you love, schedule your free consultation today at replacementmadeeasy.com. That's replacementmadeeasy.com. Usually I have an answer. I always have an answer. Because I know everything. Because I should be king of the world. Phil Handel. Can you imagine? Mornings from 6 to 10 on KM Bosch. I'm sure you're going to get a bunch of emails saying handle your form. Okay, just to let you know, I agree with that. Right, so you don't have to bother. Bill handle. Don't waste your time. Mornings from 6 to 10 on KFI. KFI, AM640, more stimulating talk. This is Jacob and Ronnie. If you've been in an accident, call 844-24-JACOB. KFI, AM640, more stimulating talk. <laughs> Coast AM with George Nori, live from somewhere deep below the earth on Premier Networks. Up next on Coast to Coast, Dr. Linda Selvin joins us, the psychic, and she'll take your calls and uh, your readings in the last hour of the program, but we're going to talk about near-death experiences, we'll talk about curses, and we'll talk with you later on on Coast to Coast AM. Hey, Dr. Squatch is changing the way you shower, providing high-performing natural products that just smell amazing and will have you feeling your best and refreshed. Dr. Squatch is transparent on their ingredients and production offering the finest ingredients Mother Nature has to offer. All their products are at least 98% natural in origin and they are great. And they've got the super convenient subscription plans too. You get some favorite products with extra savings and free shipping. You never run out. You don't have to go running around the stores to find them. They are delivered right to your house. Good sense and it shows right up at your door. Dr. Squatch has 100% satisfaction guaranteed as well. If you use Dr. Squatch and can honestly say their products aren't the best that you've ever had, they'll send you your money back, no questions asked. How about that? Shop at DrSquatch.com where new customers will receive 20% off, $20 or more that you spend. Simply enter promo code COAST 
That's DrSquatch.com, promo code COAST. Let me spell that for you. D-R-S-Q-U-A-T-C-H. That's how it's done. D-R-S-Q-U-A-T-C-H, DrSquatch.com, promo code COAST. <laughs> Five years old, I was in so much physical pain, I was truly dreading getting any older. I had weak bones, achy joints, weight that wouldn't go away, almost no energy, and constant brutal headaches. I was falling apart physically and mentally. I searched desperately for alternatives to the pain management traditional doctors offered. I tried alternative medicines with no positive results. Then I heard Dr. Joel Wallach on Coast to Coast with George Norrie and decided to give his unique recommendation 90 days. It took less than a month to fill results, and I've lost 95 pounds. I'm off all pain medications and pharmaceuticals. Best of all, the pain is gone. I look forward to my future. This is Rebecca Kozak, and if pain has you dreading your future, don't suffer through another day. Visit criticalhealthnews.com. Sign up to receive the newsletter of Dr. Wallach's 10 Bad Foods and tons of invaluable nutritional advice. Call 855-949-RADIO to speak to an experienced nutritional consultant. That's 855-949-7234 and criticalhealthnews.com. And welcome back to Coast to Coast. George Norrie with you. Radio host, veteran, and metaphysician Dr. Linda Salvin back with us. She was not born with psychic gifts. A series of devastating accidents transformed her life. And with each of these experiences, her spiritual connection to the world and universe and her psychic gifts began to grow and grow and grow. Spiritual awakenings resulting from a plane crash, a fire truck, and other near-death experiences with the white light causing her to seek out ways to integrate her education, her experiences to assist others on a new holistic and metaphysical path. Linda, welcome back. It's been five years. Good to, good yeah. to have you back. <laughs> Hi, George. It has been a long time. Um, I, I, I'm thrilled. So, thank you so much. How are you? Well, I'm great. I'm looking forward to this. And you are okay, COVID-free and everything else, I hope? Free and healthy. Yes, yeah, I'm very strong. And um, I, uh, I haven't been hit. I haven't been sick. And keep going. And I don't know about the monkey. I think it's monkey. Monkey pox. <laughs> quickly to lots to talk with you about but I got to ask you this because I fly I fly a lot if this doesn't bring back bad memories for you and you're able to do this what was it like in that plane that crashed did you know you were crashing what what was that like I did I did know I still fly um I have white knuckles and there's moments I fear but I figured you know they're not going to put me through it twice so um I was on company business with an insurance company, and my partner and I uh, flew out of John Wayne Airport in, in Orange County, California, to go up to San Jose to do some testing. I was doing environmental health and safety back then. What kind of plane? Boeing 737. Oh, we, that's, a big, that's a big plane. Yeah, 109 people. Well, we were in the coffee shop at the plane at the airport and sitting in the terminal. You know how you see the plane to the window at the coffee shop? And I said to my partner, I said, doesn't it look like it's going to crack there? He said, what are you talking about? You're just tired. Well, an hour and a half later on the way back from San Jose to Orange County, we had trouble with the plane. And to make a quick, long story short, we crash landed to avoid collision with another plane taking off on the same runway. You can't do that without having the probability of two billion to one to survive. Oh my God. So the landing gear was struck, and the engine fell off, and the plane cracked in half without a division. So that was the start. And I knew we were crashing. I grabbed, I was sitting in the middle seat, second row. Um, my partner on my left and some stranger on the right. I grabbed both their arms. I said, oh my God, we're going to die. And everything from maybe kindergarten and nursery school, I don't remember, it does flash in your brain. Your whole life story comes flashing through like a, like a piece of film that was cut from a movie projector. It just goes really fast, and then the noise, 
and the seats came out, the stuff came out of the overhead compartment, a child was sitting behind me crying, stop crying, and it was, it was a nightmare. Oh, um, we came to a halt, you know the 405 freeway right down there? Oh, sure. So, um, I got to the stairs, I mean, I got to the door, the stewardess ran down the, the aisle, said everybody off the it blows. We had 90 seconds to get off without asphyxiating. I got to the door, I said, where are the stairs? And she pushed me through the door, Down and I went around the slide, and that's when I had the out-of-body experience, and it's never been the same since. That was February 17th, 1981, we're 41 years now. And then you had a couple more other experiences? <laughs> A year later, I got hit by a fire truck going over Beverly Glen to go to UCLA for a job interview, and then um, I was working at ICM in January of 84, and I totaled a car at Palms and McLaughlin on a rainy night, and I had the white light experience, and I swear to God, you might get chills, because I've said this before, but as I spun out, I just said, I want to go home. I was tired from work, and the white light literally went through my head the ceiling of my Camaro and into the heavens and the same voice that spoke to me coming down the ramp of the plane in 1981 three years later said you can come with this now or stay and do it I was given a message and when the paramedics got me out of my car I just screamed they want me off the planet they want me off the planet but after all these years of work and growth and change and God and spirituality and synchronicity and healing and channeling and everything I've done all these years I now look at that as an initiation. I would never have understood it then. I was too young and, and was new. And you and your listeners, half your listeners are probably online. We didn't have the internet back then, George. We right. didn't until right. 1996, right? There was no one to talk to, Google, or ask for help. Thank God you're still with us, and let's be done with these near-death experiences. Oh, huh? I'm done. I'm done with that. No, I'm, my life has changed so much. I'm very grateful. You know, I'm, I'm 68 years old now. I was 27 at the time. Just now, is, are these episodes what pushed you into the psychic and metaphysical world? Yes, sir. Yep. I was an epidemiologist doing health and safety at the time. My background's epidemiology. The big word of today because of the COVID pandemic. That's right, right. that's right. <clears throat> but I don't do the research that way and I'm not working for CDC. I had done cancer research and Agent Orange research and um, hospital infections. I loved it, but it wasn't where I was going. And after the plane crash, I mean that day I think I became psychic because of the out-of-body experience. I was out of my body for four months. Had you ever experienced psychic abilities before the plane crash? No. No. I think they're all intuitive, and that's what a lot of people I believe get confused. Oh, I'm so good at this. No. I learned there's a huge difference between intuition and that God self and that one voice versus really being able to predict or help or see or feel because it's clairaudient, clairvoyant, or sentient abilities that I did not have before. No, it's evolved, and I get to such a high frequency now that I scare myself. Like, I don't know where I know stuff. I mean, it's not what I learned in school, and it's not just life experience. It comes out of me. It's like it, after, after that car, it's, it's kind of like the bumper car at the pier, and I'm connected with the cable to the other side. I just open my mouth, and there it is. That's amazing. And you're still doing some radio? Actually, I'm coming back to radio, George, and I'm on a lot of different shows and podcasts. I just put my own new station, and I'll be starting in June, which is as of tomorrow. Um, in the next week or two, I'm launching. I've got audio, which will be the podcast streaming 24-7 on my website, and I have the ability to go live through StreamYard to YouTube and start interviewing people. I have you on. It'd be fun. Well, we'll work it out. Sure, absolutely. Yeah. I ran into the market a few years ago before COVID. I remember that. Yep, yep absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad you're doing well. And we've got lots to talk about because I can't think of a better time for people to talk about psychic experiences than right now. We're going through some strange stuff, aren't we, Linda? It's strange. It's frightening. It's scary. And uh, at the same time, you have to keep the faith and the positive because a lot of it's a pony show. A lot of it's distraction from reality. A lot of it's, there's controversy, there's conspiracy, there's lies, there's deceit. And if you get wrapped up in it, you're going to go nuts. If you just stay to yourself and do your own thing and be kind and, 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 and don't worry about it, just be part of your life, you'll keep going. We'll talk about curses after we come back from the break because I want to spend some time on that. Yeah.
as you're doing a great job with that. But yeah, you, you, are you a believer in reincarnation at this point? Absolutely. That I know as a child, even. Um, I grew up here in L.A., born and raised. Um, when I was a child, I think I was four, we lived in Pacoima. Um, and I remember my father had me out in the backyard and he was showing me the planet and the sky, the Milky Way. And something inside me said, oh, here I am again. Like, I recognized the sky. And um, it was shortly after that I was... I witnessed two planes collide in midair, so here oh I am. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that was the plane that crashed over the Pacoima Junior High that Rick, uh, Richie Valens was always afraid of flying because he was afraid of a plane. Now that's the plane that you saw yeah. in that uh, well, little movie of him. Yeah, yes, I saw the movie later, and then I ended up in a crash 23 years later. So the whole thing is in my book, which is coming out finally. I correlated all these weird instances, you know, it's kind of synchronicity, God, is it God, is it real, is it not real, how does it work, it's certainly not a cognitive way of life anymore. Uh -uh. How many past lives do you think people can have? You know what, George, I've been asked that, I was, t I think there's thousands, I think there's times we've come in, BC, AD, sometimes for maybe a week, a month, several years, and you go back and forth and back and forth to get it right, we've all been men, we've all been women, the female, uh, spirit enters a male body, a male spirit enters a, or soul enters a female body. I think that's where there's a lot of um, new advances with people's opening up sexually with the trans and all the gender stuff. I mean, there's so much with the soul that reincarnation also brings in memory. We all have memory in the soul circle. Certain people keep gravitating within the same group of people, and then you're bouncing out of other groups of people you don't feel like you belong. So it, it, I, I think it's all the soul evolution. I really do. And, and if you just let it happen, you'll be guided to the right life if you just don't fight it. But the reincarnation, I think musicians have been musicians before. Doctors and healers have healed before. Broadcaster, I, you probably stood on a box in the past. I'm like, oh, I'm preaching or talking because you've always had the fascination with all this stuff and you like those and you know yep. the paranormal that's you and since you were a kid yep but absolutely. you came into this lifetime with something did you ever have recurring dreams as a child i don't remember them at this point but i'm sure i did well i think recurring dreams is us we as humans growing in the first four five six years of life and adjusting to this incarnation. I don't know about the new souls evolving. I, I don't know anybody that's so new. They may not be as evolved psychically, spiritually, kindness. I mean, there's still a lot of negativity of them, don't get me wrong, but... Um, Way too much. Uh, it's black, it's dark, and then the people who are light often get abused the most because it repels. Um, I have a client on me and they don't understand and I'll say something and I don't know if you've ever been talked about this on your show with me or anybody else, but how many times, say you're going to a department store and you're in line and you're ready to pay for your item and the clerk behind the counter walks back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and you've got your wallet, your credit card and you're ready to pay for whatever and you finally say, can I pay? And they say, I didn't see you. Have you ever had that happen? No, I'm pretty prominent, I guess, when I'm around. Well, people who are on a higher frequency will hear that because they literally emanate like a light or an energy where the other person on a different level does not see me or those people that have this light or the energy that's a little different. It's happened to be so And you're right in front of them. Right in front of them. Yeah. Wow. And it's like, can I pay? Oh, I didn't see you. And I'm like, well, how can you not see me? I didn't understand this until, I don't know, 30 years ago, a psychic told me about that. And I began to test it and watch it. And then if people call me, you know, for private, they say, I don't know why this and that. And then I start asking them questions and I test them to see what level I think they may be at on a psychic or spiritual evolutionary plane. And then I can explain why they don't connect with that job or with that guy or with that girl because they're kind of like in the wrong department. And then if I get them to, like I say, playing pin the tail on the donkey without the blindfold, get them on track and they work it out. What's confusing out there? Past lives. What do you think?
think yeah. of him? What, what does Absolutely. It? Same thing with the reincarnation. You know, we've lived different lives, different lifestyles. Our mom and dad could have been our boyfriend or husband or girlfriend and sisters and brothers. I think we all go through time and time again. But, um, you know, I was probably some medical or healing type of person. Mm -hmm. You were involved in that somehow. Probably, just like I knew music. For, I had a past life regression at one point because I was always been obsessed with my music career and songwriting. And I went back to the 1600s. I saw myself as a little jester, a boy, in the King's Court in Italy. And I played an instrument. So through life here, now, in this incarnation, since 1954, I still play music. But it's always been a part of my soul. Where did it come from? And past life will uh, show the creativity or the time that we live that existence. I would say we have hundreds of past lives that make us who we are. And we just go through the next incarnation. And I have learned from all the channeling I did for 22 years, which I kind of curtailed. Um, I learned that the more spiritual we become in this lifetime, the easier it is to transfer when we go and cross over. But then we come in again on a higher level. So it's all learning. Absolutely. I've always felt that past lives were progression to get to heaven. Possible? Absolutely. That's what I'm saying. You know, the more spiritual you become on this plane, the easier it is to go there. I had a question about heaven, quote unquote, not just because I'm Jewish. But I'm thinking it's a carry. I started channeling spiritual beings mm -hmm. in 1996, and Evan Piglini. Yeah. 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 And, but two weeks after, some guy came to my apartment for a reading and wanted to know about his wife who was deceased. I said, oh, I don't do that. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, she came through. She scared the day like that. And then I called Evelyn. She goes, well, welcome to the world of transmediumship. I never asked for any of these gifts. I never studied it, George. It just sort of happened. It just, like, it happened. It, it's like they chose me. That's why I said it was like an initiation. They weird thing I went through took me to another level and I became someone to help others. But I used spirituality, holistic health, natural methods, candle magic. I'm into a genetic nutrition now based on DNA. There's a way to find out what your health markers are and then get a customized clinical dose of a nutritional product. I'm seeing major miracles happening. So I've integrated. I've brought it all together. My brand. So yeah, I'll be back on radio and I've got my products and my services. And I never in my wildest dreams expected any of this. Uh -huh. Well, then talk to, talk to Tom and see if he can help you out with uh, the iHeart uh, company. All right, he heard that. Did you hear that, Tom? He's a, he he's a nice little chat. He's from, yeah, he's a good guy. I mean, he's running a whole bunch of different things, but iHeart right. Radio has its own podcast division. And uh, who knows? We've, uh, yeah, I could, I could connect with them, and I know somebody at some of the other studios connected after 40 years in radio. Yeah, you're in a sporting answer. 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 Yeah, you wait for the for the soulmate and then you know, the soulmate the twin and then they the right the 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 relationship to finally find what's really right for each person. Yeah. Is a soulmate forever? No. I didn't think so. I didn't think so. I think it's different levels. I think in different chapters of oh, the world, say the high school love versus the college or when you're twenty or thirty oh, one people will marry karmically because they do love each other and they want to have a family, but how many times do you hear somebody getting divorced after about 20 years? Well, they've raised the kids and now they've grown apart, but that's not just the sad part. It's oh, actually awesome. the evolution of growth to go on to become more who you're supposed to be and meet the people you're supposed to meet to, Why? to your journey. 
I used to think it was like black and white, like everybody.